Hello friends! Like I said earlier when we were doing the boxes, I'm going to read to you a book about a little boy and a purple crayon. It's called A Picture for Harold's Room. Now, only color on things that mom and dad say that you're allowed to color on. Don't color on your walls. But this is fun. A Picture for Harold's Room, A Purple Crayon Adventure by Crockett Johnson. A Picture for Harold's Room. I want a picture to put on my wall, said Harold. He drew a house with his purple crayon. More houses made a little town. It was far away. The town had woods and hills around it, and it was at the end of a long road. It will look pretty in the moonlight, said Harold and he stepped up into the picture to draw the moon. He looked down at the houses. I am a giant, he said, but a giant would scare all the people in the town. Whew, it's good no one woke up and saw me. He walked over the hills. How big I am, he said. Harold's head was above the clouds. With a few steps, he came to the end of the land. And at the end of the land, of any land, there is water. It is the sea, said Harold. There are the seagulls. Do you see him? He's drawn sea and the seagulls. Harold was big enough to walk through the sea. A great big ship went by. It was an ocean liner. A big whale came up in the waves, spouting water. And just ahead of Harold was an old sailing ship. He easily caught up with it and passed it. The sea ended against a steep hill. Ooh, he's drawing the hill. Harold needed some rocks to step on. He climbed out of the sea and onto the hill. Then he saw that the ship was too near the rocks. So he put up a lighthouse to show the sailors. And he went on his way over high mountains. Harold was taller than the highest mountain. I am higher than anything, he said. Then suddenly, he thought of airplanes. Harold ducked his head just in time. It was a big jet plane flying very fast. There might have been a bad accident. Harold found a low place in the mountain. It was a good place for a railroad to go through. It came out onto a long flat field. Harold put some birds and flowers near the track. People like to see things from trains, he said. He went on drawing tracks and birds and flowers, and he had to keep looking out for trains. It was a big job for a small boy, and all of a sudden he saw how small he had become. <gasps> he went from being giant to being little by a flower. He was half the size of a daisy. He was smaller than a bird. How would he get home? He could not wade home through the ocean. He could not climb the high mountains. How do you think he's going to get home? Just then, he fell into a mouse hole. Excuse me, he said to the mouse. He's as little as a mouse. Then Harold sat down on a pebble to think. After a minute or two, he stood up again. This is only a picture, he said, and he took his crayon and he crossed it out. I am not big or little. I am my usual size. But how can he be sure of that? At home, he was always his usual size. So he drew the door of his room. 
There was a long mirror on the back of the door. Yes, said Harold. I am my usual size. He was glad to be back in his room. He was tired. But he still had no picture to hang on his wall. So before he went to bed, he drew another picture. The end. A big job for a small boy. And you have a big job too. You can color pictures and draw and use your imagination to do whatever you want. Enjoy!